Hello. Hello. Welcome to Date Night Live with us, Beth, me, and Carol. See, I'm not even doing all the drama of this is our names and stuff. We're getting straight to brass tacks because there is a time for everything. And right now, it's time to talk about cycles. That's pretty slick. Do you see how I just went right into it like that? Did you catch that, Carol? Nice. Yeah, right into cycles. So uh, the seasons are changing, and it's making me gear up for um, all of the drama that ensues over the holidays. The, uh, the big tree in the neighbor's yard started showing some autumn colors. The big tree? What are you, Winnie the Pooh? The big tree. Yeah. So, so what if you're tree? taking the dogs out and then you look over towards the neighbor's garage, um, the new mm. neighbors, the mm. big tree in their yard, um, it's a big old patch of autumn in it. Well, big old patch of autumn. Um, what is autumn to you besides falling leaves and changing colors? Um, it's the transition from summer into winter. Ooh, you used a good word, transition. That is what I coach in transitions and of all different kinds, right? So not just like um, transitions, like physical transitions or transformations, but also transitions in between, I guess you could say life events, grief, um, moving, career, et cetera, et cetera, right? Transitions of all kinds. Those are just cycles, cycles of behavior, transitions. So, um, Fall being the cycle that transitions into winter means that everything is then dying in fall. Yeah, going dormant. So you like... Getting ready to hibernate. Right, you like all that going to sleep business, all that rest. Um, there's a lot that happens in fall that, that I really like. It's, it's, I don't know, it's the way the, the entire, you know, season feels to me and the smell and... The, the weather, just everything about it, um, it just it resonates really strong with me more so than the other seasons. Yeah, the deep sleep kind of thing, um, you know, being ushered in. I think it's that process of relaxing for you. Yeah, maybe so. For me, I'm very definitely a spring and summer person. I want the renewal, the rejuvenation, the motivation, the encouragement. I like that uptick. But we're also getting ready, going to be getting ready for the Christmas season, and that's, you know, the smells that I get. Uh, the next thing is, it's going to be, you know, a lot of pine. You with the smells. You with the smells. And you too, Carol. Y'all with the smells. Y'all are weird with the smells. I just got over being sick, and I can now smell. I, I did not have COVID. I had bronchitis, and it was a pretty bad case, but um, I have been healing. So I'm finally back this week, and uh, I can smell. And it's interesting after you haven't smelled for a week. You're like, holy frozen. crap. Huh? No, you smell. You better stop it. I smelt it. Did you dealt it? Um. Anywho, so I was sick for a little while, and now I'm feeling better. And my hope is that we have an amazing time tomorrow, because tomorrow, yes. what? What? I said yes. Oh, I was like, what? Okay, so amazing time tomorrow. We are going to go with our friend Mandy. And we're going to go, like, tear up what? the place. Oh, I have to turn off the mic. I mean, turn off the speakers. <laughs> we are going to go to a place in Illinois to visit some folks that we're friends with. Yeah. And um, I'm very excited. And maybe we'll do a planetarium. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just do weird stuff. Yeah. That's usually what we do. Do weird stuff talk. Um, and eat food. <clears throat> lots of food. We're going to eat food tonight, too. We don't know. We were talking about Burger King. Right? I could do some Burger King. Oh, but you know... I want to know what the dealio is with our Taco Bell. It was closed the other night. I'm very sad yeah, about it was that. In, closed in the afternoon, but then it was open. Yeah, unless they did Alex. So. Alex, yeah, that was repair. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm going to need everybody to get it together. <laughs> everybody? And just cater to me, okay? Uh -huh. That's what I need. Everything. You know what we always do? I, well, it's not getting old. It's just not getting old. 
Um, there's a season for everything, and, and right now it's the season to feed me, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, so it'll be interesting to see what we do tomorrow. And in the meantime, while we're gone, huh, uh, we are leaving Oliver with oh, Grandpa gosh. and Rory. <laughs> so little Oliver gets to go to the, what is it, Home de Heritage Today? Yeah. Tra tractor stuff? Her yeah, Heritage Day. So all that farming yeah. stuff that he... Yeah, he, the Latchler homestead. Yeah, he truly loves. Oh, Mandy's on. Hi, Mandy. Um, I sound much better than I did. Mandy probably would have thrown the book at me if she had heard um, what y'all heard when I was sick, huh? Yes, the incessant whining and complaining, it just would not yeah, stop. Yeah, at all. I am... A, he almost died because we were going to murder him. For real, like... So close to death. Okay, well, speaking of cycles, and, and here's one of those public interest stories that's not real interesting, but public nonetheless. So, I am, um, because I'm a trans man, and I have not had a hysterectomy, I take testosterone. So, every... Um, every other week now I take an injection it used to be every week so if I don't take said testosterone I basically turn back into a pumpkin so the factory starts working again so if I don't want to have a monthly cycle then I need to make sure I take testosterone so funny story when I was sick I was like you know what mm. I'm going to let the estrogen creep in a little bit because, true story, testosterone makes you whiny and crappy and unable to handle anything. I swear, I'm telling you. I delivered babies and had very little trouble afterward, and, and I can't even have a cold now as a man. And um, <clears throat> so I realized, and I've been very humbled, um, by the experience of um, letting my estrogen get too high <laughs> and um, going into a cycle uh, that I wasn't prepared for. So I'm now wiser, and that's one of those weird trans problems that you don't think about when you're trans. You don't, you just live in your life. It's not like every single day I go, oh, I, I was born a girl and, and I've got to do these things. I never, ever think about it. And so when your self-care takes the back seat, all of a sudden you're reminded by some kind of cycle, whether it's a self-sabotage, whether it's a natural cycle of behavior, whether it's just nature in general kicking your ass, you're going to be reminded if you stop taking care of yourself. True? True. So lesson learned, everybody except for me was right about everything all the time. <laughs> Does that cover everything? Did that make you feel good? Past and future. Right. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> Joe has a hot mess at his house. And we look at the videos and we look at the pictures and we don't envy him. I don't. I look at that shit and I'm like, what are you going to do with all that concrete? Bet we could throw some off of a river. Off into a river. <laughs> off of a river. Oh, Lord. Your dad could probably think of some stuff to do with it. We could build a coral reef. I don't know. I got nothing, guys. So, um, Oliver's and my birthday's coming up. Yes. It's a little stressful. Why so? Well, as we spoke about today in coaching, you and I, um, there, you reach a certain point in your life where you go, holy crap, what are my values? Yeah. I'm to that point where I'm like, holy crap, what are my values? I know I value spring and I value summer. We covered that. I value food, primarily Taco Bell and Twizzlers. Twizzlers are where it's at. I love my friends pizza, and my family. Oh, of course, pizza is just a standard. It, I don't even have to list it anywhere. It's just that it's there. It's a staple. So family and friends are right there at the top. And I was confused for a minute going, okay, so I know all this stuff about myself. So what do I actually value for the future? Right? What, what do I value for the future? We've got, you know, all these big events coming up. My dad's getting old. The rest of my family's getting old. Hell, I'm getting old. <laughs> And I'm like, what do I want to establish before that cycle is gone? 
and having Carol here now gives us that perspective too because Carol you didn't have all the like traditions and stuff did you like all the holiday glamour crap um uh, my family does do um, that type of thing prior to moving here I didn't I worked all the time so I didn't really have the experience of uh holidays before COVID and yeah after COVID nobody had so it's going to be interesting to mesh our holidays together for the first time. Yeah. And um, it's time for change. You know, I, uh, I value change the most, which is funny because I struggle with OCD. So it, in most people's mind, doesn't make sense that I should value change, but I value progress. Um, when things are the same for too long, I get paranoid. I don't like it. Um, I change this room around constantly. I, I can't deal with the pressure of things remaining. Just about every three or four months. Yeah. And I really do have those odd cycles of behavior, so I know I value progress. But at what risk? Because we just talked about self-care, right? So at what risk do I value progress? What about y'all? What are you willing to tolerate? Um for progress not what you do <laughs> you okay we'll talk about that uh, you tolerate a lot um, I, I can't tolerate as much um, and don't so babe. probably probably the amount that we did in this last move probably half of that that's about my tolerance <laughs> nobody knows what that is nobody <laughs> knows how much that is they don't know that we have 500 truckloads of crap in our house because we're crazy hoarder people I mean, they can look at the office and see that. Well, we sort of, in a way, we um, flip flop the room. You know, we just move um, big stuff from one side to the other, to the other side. And um, it took a, took a while. And it's uh, Mandy's fault. We're blaming him. It's a lot of cleaning, and you know, we both have back issues, and so it was. Who has back issues? You got back issues? No, you don't have back issues. Of course, I don't. Silly, don't be ridiculous. I have spine issues, but not back issues. I got lots of back. Got lots of front, too. <laughs> oh, okay, so we played D&D &D with um, Dingus and Wingus. Well, actually, just Dingus. Um, uh, Lucas. <laughs> You're Wingus. I guess I was Wingus. So, um, for those of you who don't know what D&D &D are, is, I don't D and d is, oh, Lord, I don't know why you're watching me. <laughs> Oh, I could blame medicine, but I'm not even on medicine anymore. Crap. Anyway, so for those of you who don't know what D&D &D is, it's Dungeons and & Dragons. And it's a super um, creative way to bond with your children. <laughs> right? It is. You can kick their asses in the game. Like, you can be mean to them and torture them, too. If you structure, your character if can. If you structure your game right, you can teach them things. Teach me. That's what I do day to day. I teach Without people knowing, stuff. Even learning. Yeah, I do that too. Like whenever you pull a fly's wing off, has That's no it. idea it can walk so good until it can't fly. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, I would like never a, do a that. Game, you know, but it, it, it works both sides of your brain at the same time. I only got one side of a brain. Just one. Just got one brains. Um, speaking of one brains, <laughs> this birthday party thing that uh, that Carol decided upon and pulled the trigger on and really spearheaded all of it mm -hmm. uh, is a skating party. And uh, I am way too uh, paranoid about dying and breaking myself that I am not skating. But then here's dad sitting at the table, 80 years old, going, I'll have to find my skates. I will kick his ever-loving ass if he even tries it. And I know in my head, logically, he has lived this long because he's smart about him, himself, taking care of himself. Oliver asked me if I'd skate up to my wood. No, oh, you go ahead, baby. I love you. Love life. Live it. <laughs> breathe it. Dream it. 
I have skated enough in my lifetime to never have to skate again. I'm great with that. I'm good with walking. I could barely do that most days. But, yeah, you have fun. Not going to do it. Um, I think that it's, it, I think it'll be fun for everybody, though. Yeah. I don't want to hear no Bon Jovi. Mm. <laughs> Speaking now of. Now you're going to hear Bon Jovi. I mean, come on. Uh, they gonna don't hear. do that anymore. Oh, they don't play you. Bon Jovi. <laughs> I'm sure they played the last time we were there. <laughs> okay, so look, look, listen. So Mandy, as fabulous as she is, made a really weird decision to go see an old '80s uh, huh, star, right? Not so really a star or an icon, but yeah. I don't even know what person. to call him, right? Person, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this said person was uh, Corey Feldman. And um, I love Mandy for loving her um, her people, her characters. I just didn't have it in me to go see the person. So somebody else that we know, one of my clients, um, happened to be uh, in the vicinity and tried to talk to him. And they were brooding, described as brooding. Corey was described as brooding. Now, if you have reached, reached our ripe old age, which he has, He's our age. And you are still brooding. Um, you should be an actor. And if you're not, be one. So he is definitely right in the <laughs> right in the perfect career for him, right? Yeah, he does some music stuff now. Oh, interesting. Yeah, he like, plays music and sings. Well, more power to him. Well, I can't sings. judge. I'm going to say he plays music. He sings and then he moves er erratically. <laughs> I guess he, you know... It's in some weird. I'm way over radically too. Yeah. I'm 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 pretty weird, uh, but that's okay. So um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on here, and um, you've got nothing but love from everyone yeah. uh, while you were out and, and dealing with your sister's death. We've been talking about grief and coaching, mm -hmm. and you are officially mourning. Yeah. Yeah, that's and, and we can call it that and we can say what it is. Your sister died and it had an effect and you're going through the grieving process, so what we <coughs> see is the mourning. <coughs> Sorry. And we are all here for you and um, everybody can bring over uh, uh, a green bean casserole for you, right? That's no your favorite? Casseroles. Green bean casserole. Um, it's interesting that we feed people when they're in distress. That's yep. why I brought that up, because Carol and I were talking about that earlier, too. If you want my attention, then just feed me. And if you want more attention, wrestle me. So feed me and wrestle me. You got my undivided attention. Um, but it's true. When we go through hardship or we're celebrating or anything, we eat. I think we eat with Mandy more than we do anything. Think about it, you know. Yeah. Anytime we go out someplace, we're usually with him. But Chris just, Chris has an adventurous palate. Yeah. We always so <coughs> we make him find the good stuff. <coughs> Must go someplace different, eat something new. And, um, yeah, we're going to have to report back on, on what we do. I can't think of anything else, really, that's going on other than that freaky storm the other night. Had me all, had me all freaked out and the kids slept in the living room and it knocked out the power just long enough to reset all the clocks which is my favorite thing <laughs> my god my favorite thing in the world um anything else uh, come on carol you got anything nothing we're we've been going on icy uh benders lately Lots of ICs. I, I took the Lucas to buy some DVD dice today and wound up spending too much money on birthday present for my bio baby. Yes, well, <laughs> he is um, in need of birthday presents. Yeah. I don't care how old you get. And so you bought him some character, licensed character, video game character plushies for an insane amount yep. but that's okay because you can only guilt parent now <laughs> you know you can't guilt parent after you stop feeling guilty yeah. 
because then it, it's not guilt parenting anymore. <laughs> um, do you really feel like you guilt parent bad? No, but I do indulge the gift purchasing because I never had the ability to do it before. Right. Um, I don't know the last present I actually bought for him. He's maybe 26 years old. 26? Jeez so, Louise. Yeah. So, I mean, sure, there's some guilt associated with not being, you know, able to be there for the kids when I had to work so very much. Um, we should just send him a whole bunch of food. I mean, he would like that probably. So, for he's keto now, so I'm not sure what I could spend on. That's terrible. Turkey, I don't know. But, yeah. So, yeah. That's all. Trinity birthday is next month, too, and I don't know what. Well, we will discuss that. And Mandy's texting us right now. Did y'all know that? Well, she's texting me because she cares about me more. Y'all are just like, y'all are the side flaps. Side flaps. Yeah, the side flaps. Oh my God, did you just say piss flaps? I did. I a little bit. No, I meant on like on an airplane, the side flaps. You know, the stabilizers. Yeah. Y'all are the stabilizers. Whatever. Wow, you said piss flaps. Mm -hmm. So, so far tonight, (laughs) so far tonight, I've talked about, I've I've talked about grieving, periods, and piss flaps. Apparently. So, and Burger King. Is that what we're getting tonight, Burger King? Please. Yeah, that'd be great. And And not associated with, like, piss flaps? Oh, my God, you did not just mention that. Oh, hey, do y'all remember the Where's the Beef commercial? Yeah. Where the little old lady yes, in the honk Yes, yes, we do. Where's the beef? Right. I Apparently it's it in me. between the Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't take you anywhere. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah, yeah. I know. I hear that a lot. Uh, well, good, good. Uh, to oh, my Anthony God. is on. He said, I do. You do what? I don't know. I guess he remembers where's the beef. Oh my god, okay, okay, good. That that makes sense. I was gonna say you do have piss flaps. <laughs> I mean maybe. I, I don't know. Oh yeah, you haven't met Anthony yet. That's Rex's dad. Oh, got you. Yeah. Okay, got you. Oh yeah, okay. Last name first. Oh that's hilarious. Um <laughs> So I actually, I have a new client coming on Sunday that I'm very excited about. Um, a, uh, another non-binary kid and it's going to be fantastic. And that's my favorite thing to do is to learn from them. I know I'm supposed to be teaching them, but I like harnessing all the youth and stealing all their mojo. It's my favorite thing. So as long as they, um, can teach me, I can stay relevant. And so that's the trick. I'm going to stay that way. And now I'm looking over here at this little critter cottage thing that I have. And I'm thinking that might be house been date night. I might just play with a critter cottage. Who will you be dating then? <laughs> wow. Okay, so we can play yes, D&D so. and but roll some go. dice. But I can't play with some little figurines. Go ahead and date yourself. This. This. I do anyway, I know. practically. I know. Oh, so you told me a joke and I already forgot it. No, no, you're not whispering in my ear. That's weird. I don't like that sort of thing. Don't whisper it directly in your ear. No, no. no. You say the joke. Yeah, you say the joke. Come on, you do it. It'll be oh, funny. Gosh. I don't remember how that word which it goes. Did you just remember it? Something about okay. eating or something. <laughs> <laughs> um. A uh, colon can change the entire meaning of a sentence. For example, I ate my friend's lunch. Or, I ate my friend's colon. <laughs> oh my god. You're so disgusting and weird. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and that's where okay, we are. I would not have encouraged you to say it if I had remembered it. <laughs> yeah, I think I've locked it out. too. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm going to quit annoying people with my voice and just start annoying y'all more. So we made it 25 minutes. We powered through, 
And you know what? I'm going to keep on doing this. I'm going to keep trucking on because sometimes somebody listens to me and goes, holy crap, did he just say he had a period? Huh? What do you mean trucking on? I'm going to keep trucking on. I'm going to keep doing the podcast even when people like you don't want to listen, Carol. That's what I'm going to do. I when I lose all just, the support of people. I think you're just inserting words at this point. You're trying to yes, I'm trying to make it to 2626. Yes, but know. that's okay. OCD's okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, say okay. Nope. Okay. Okay, thank you guys. Have a good date night. Bye. Um, I'll